giant roaches? What the hell? What happened here? Where is everything? all that's left.
Codsworth. What happened to the world? The world, sir? Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? She's... in a better place. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. <laughs> You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you... A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house! <laughs> and the car! The car! How do you polish rust? Whoa, whoa. Focus, Codsworth. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... Dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. <laughs> What's all this, then? Not this time. Family isn't real either. The, the 
Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home. Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You seem like an okay guy. Okay, then. Let's stick together.
Let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around and get shot. to deal with. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. God damn it. Minutemen? So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. And I did, but things fell apart. Now it looks like I'm the last minute man left standing. The world's changed so much. None of this makes sense. You all right? Listen, we need your help. And then maybe we can help you, huh? What brought you out here? My son Sean's been kidnapped. He's not even a year old. That's messed up. I'm sorry. I know how this world can be. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. It's a cruel world. You think I don't know that? The oh, things man. I've seen. The things I've done. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. Let's hear it. Sturgis, tell him. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what! Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rads, and... Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find but it. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders and know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Careful, kid. There's something coming. And it's angry.
Boss, we got somebody up here. Why don't you get down here? Show me that fast you tell the boat. Not a lot of people can get past my boys. Give me that. Mama, you okay? I'm fine, Preston. Quit fussing. That was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you're on our side. You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah, for a while anyway. We can at least move someplace safer. Listen, when we first met, you asked about the Minutemen. One thing you should know about us, we help out our friends. So here, for everything you've done, thank you. You're welcome. Anytime. Well, since you say that, maybe you'll come to Sanctuary with us. We could use your help getting settled there. All right, Garvey. I'm in. Oh, that's wonderful. But there's more to your destiny, isn't there? I've seen it, and I know your pain. Okay, I'm listening. You're a man out of time, out of hope, but all's not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. I'm listening. Look, kid, I know how I sound. The sight, it's weird, and it ain't always clear, but your son's out there, and even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth, Diamond City, the biggest settlement around. What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid, I'm tired now. Maybe you'll bring me some chems later. The site will paint a clearer picture. No. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna oh, kill you. Shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the site. And our new friend here, he's gonna need it too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. We're heading for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? 
You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd. And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? it can oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Worse than everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Well then, sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June, it's time to go. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Don't worry. I'll get these people to sanctuary. <laughs>